Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a recent purchases update video. If you've watched these before, you'll know that I split them into my hits and my misses, but this time under misses, I'm also doing a kind of bags I sold and why. I have had a few bag sales recently and I did part ways with some styles, so I'll be going over those and sharing my reasons why I sold them. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started. I did also wanna let you guys know that there have been some updates to some of the luxury sales that are happening right now. For those of you who missed it, Singles Day is fast approaching and for some reason all the luxury retailers just went live really really early with their sales so the 24 7 sale I know a few of you mentioned the Tom Ford discount code wasn't working that's been fixed now so it does work on Tom Ford again Burberry women's scarves are now added and Valentino has added just a few new categories so I will link that down below if you did want to check it out Okay, so first up, my Chanel 19. This is absolutely 100% in my hits category. I love this thing so much. I've not really made any secret about how much I've been enjoying it. Um, it's just been a total revelation and I've just been enjoying using it so, so much. I love pretty much everything about it and it's very different, I feel like, from a lot of styles I have in my wardrobe. I'm definitely a departure from the other Chanel styles I have, which are, generally speaking, pretty much exclusively classic flats, but I love it. I love how different it is. I love the fact that it can be worn casually as well as a little bit more dressy obviously it's not a super kind of dressy bag uh, but I do think it can work perfectly well for a date night and to be honest like most occasions that I actually go to and I just think it's so wonderful um, I have really been liking the addition of the bag liner and I do feel like that's kind of crucial for me at this point and I guess it's kind of a personal preference like it's obviously supposed to be more of a slouchy style um, but for me I do like the slightly more rigid structure that I do have with the bag liner so you know, if I was to get another one, then I would absolutely get another liner for it. But all in all, I just think it's a really great size. I did get the smaller one. Um, I felt like the large one was just like a bit too large for me. And this is just great because it actually just fits quite a bit already. So I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. You know, there's nothing that I really desperately need to carry with me that I can't fit in this bag on a daily basis usually. I like the fact that it still has the turn lock as well. And the two-tone metal, Honestly, that was the one thing that I was really not sure about because sometimes I think it can work and sometimes I just feel like it clashes, but it's really grown on me. Um, I like the fact that it's a darker gunmetal as well, which again, usually not my cup of tea. I generally speaking prefer to go for lighter, shinier hardware. I just love the whole combination. Um, obviously it's gonna depend on what color you go for and what color you like, but I definitely feel like the gray combination was the right one. And it's just been the best thing. Like I really, really been liking it. So if you've been debating it, I would say what everyone else said to me, which was go and try it on and then you'll instantly know. And I absolutely think that is true. Um, but yeah, so far, absolute hit. Just been loving it so, so much. Next up is my Gucci Down Assist. I haven't spoken that much about this bag. I really wanted to get a feel for it before mentioning it again. I'm familiar with the style anyway. I used to have the canvas one, um, but this leather one is newer to me and I've really been enjoying it. Um, I would say it's not completely without its flaws, um, but overall, it's definitely within my kind of hits category. I think it's really, really beautiful. The design is so stunning, and I really think that the leather version, not that I disliked the canvas one, because I really didn't, and I dithered a long time before parting ways with it, but the leather version, I feel like it just feels very, very elevated, and even the fact that the clasp is so embellished, and it has this beautiful kind of sparkly detail, but without it looking like cheap because I feel like sometimes sparkles can go either way um, but I don't feel like that's true at all just a very very kind of high quality bag with just the most amazing attention to detail um, so it just opens up like so and then on the inside you just have the two compartments so my cons with this bag are kind of threefold so one it's not the biggest and it's not helped by the fact that you do have the compartment in the middle. If I was gonna design this bag from scratch, I would definitely miss that out because it would just free up so much space. But because of that, you are limited. So it can't fit a ton. Definitely something to keep in mind. Um, and then the second thing is, I don't love the fact that these kind of curve in a little bit. And I don't know why it does that. I'm hoping that it's going to bend out in time. Every time I've worn this, I've made an effort to kind of 
try and straighten it out a little bit um, but obviously I don't do it all the time hopefully that is going to um, kind of fix itself it's not the biggest of deals and I did see that this was true even with the one um, on the model on the website so I don't think it's my specific one I think it's the way that the bag is designed but I would prefer that to sit a little bit straighter and then the other thing is the weight I feel like the weight is fine because honestly you can't fit that much in here so you know it's not as if I'm carrying loads of items that's adding to the extra weight so for me it's fine but if you're particularly sensitive to weight with your bags in general you might not get along with this and um, it is a fairly substantial bag but apart from that I absolutely love it and I know that might be quite a few kind of cons um, but I just think it's gorgeous that kind of makes up for any of my little niggles I love the colorway um, which is this kind of it's like a warm light caramel, I would say. I was debating between this one and the white one, um, but honestly, it was a coin toss. Only reason I went for this one is because I felt like I had quite a few white bags, um, and I just think it's beautiful, you know, really, again, substantially made. I feel like it just feels like a really beautiful luxury bag, and it does make a statement, but because it's not absolutely massive, I don't feel like it's too in your face, and yeah I just think it's beautiful nice for day if you wanted to go for like a lunch or a brunch but also like it's definitely fancy enough to wear to even the fanciest of dinners so I do think it's fairly versatile in that sense um you know maybe not so much in terms of the capacity but if you did want a smaller bag I do think this one is beautiful and oh I just think it's the most stunning design next up is my Saint Laurent Lulu Puffer and this is the boucle version or the tweed like version and this has just been the most glorious thing. You guys know how much of a fan I am of the general Saint Laurent puffer line, but I don't even feel like this is like a true puffer style. Like it does have the same shape and it does have a slightly puffy element, um, but for me the main thing is the actual tweed fabric. I mentioned when I got this that this was very much not a replacement, but I kind of wanted to fulfill the urge to get a Chanel tweed flap, which mentioned before, I've lusted after those for so many years, but with the price increases, I've just never been able to justify spending that much on a tweed bag. And obviously the price increases are just getting crazier every few months, it seems. I was gonna say every year, but it is literally every few months now. Um, so that was kind of ruled out for me and I saw this and I was like, actually, it looks really similar in terms of the overall feel. And I already know I love the design and it's just been great. Like I really, really have been loving it so much. Um, it is the exact same design as the general Lily Puffer line. So simple, wide open space. You can actually fit a very decent amount in here. You just have the zipper pocket on the back and then that's it, you know, it's plain on the base, there's no pocket on the back, so very, very simple indeed. I love the fact that you do have the hardware and the leather straps. And I just feel like it's the most adorable thing, um, probably a winter specific one, you know, I didn't use this as much when I first got it, but now that we definitely are into the colder months, I have been reaching for it more and more, and I just love the design. I feel like it does look very, very classic for such a new bag, and it just kind of has that French chic element to it. And I just love it. Um, you can also wear it both ways. You know, you can wear it on the shoulder, you can wear it crossbody. I've actually been wearing this one more crossbody. I really don't tend to do that that much with my full leather version, but I have been with this one. So I've been enjoying it kind of all the different ways. And I just think it's so great. So really, really happy with this. Very happy that I finally kind of no longer want a tweed Chanel bag as much, because um, I do just think this is a beautiful alternative. And then finally, under my hits, I wanted to do a little update on the Chloe Woody Tote. Um, I did mention, I feel like this is like the Chloe Woody Tote saga with me at this point, um, but I did mention that I've kept both sizes and we'll just see which one I use the most and which one I like the most. And then I'm gonna part ways eventually um, with the one I use the least. So I thought I'd just give a little update because I know a lot of you have been messaging me saying you are also trying to decide between the sizes. Um, so the one I have been using the most is actually the larger one and I didn't necessarily think that would be the case because the medium one it just felt a little bit better for every day um, but I think maybe what I wasn't taking into account was the fact that the medium size is nice for every day but actually how I generally tend to use bags is I tend to use them for em running or grocery shopping or I go out, um, in which case I don't tend to use tote bags when I go out, I tend to use a smaller bag like what I just mentioned with my other hits, um, or when I'm going and running or grocery shopping, I will use a very large bag, um, which is why I've been using this one so much. So that might change because we have been really busy um, and you know we have been going out, but again, 
proper nights out or otherwise literally just errand running. So when I have those more in between occasions, like a full day out, then that might change and I might begin to use the medium one more. But so far I have been using the larger one more. I think it's so great and so beautiful and just a really cool chic looking tote, I think, which isn't always necessarily that easy to find. I feel like sometimes the really functional bags aren't that exciting in terms of the design, whereas I don't think that's true of this one. Um, I am planning on scotch guarding this. I haven't done it so far and I actually have to do it with a few different styles and I have to just do a little bit of maintenance on some my shoes and bags and just kind of taking care of my items for the upcoming winter season. I was thinking about doing that as a vlog. I know I've mentioned kind of how I protect my items like quite a few times before but is that something you'd be interested in seeing? I'm not sure if that's just gonna be really boring because it is just like maintenance but if it is let me know um, but otherwise I may be happy just to do like a quick little update on IG stories. But yeah that's on my to-do list but so far I have really really been enjoying this. And now for my misses slash bags I sold and why. And I wouldn't say that all of the bags here are misses by any means because some of these bags I love and I literally only parted ways with because I have something similar in another color or I just wasn't getting the use out of it. Um, some of them I would categorize as misses, uh, but it's definitely a little bit of a mixed bag. So first up is the Saint Laurent wristlet. And I think this was the style that I got the most messages about in terms of like, oh my goodness, why are you selling this bag? And the simple reason is I have a white one and I just use that one a ton. And because because I use it so much, I just never really got around to using the black one. So that's it. I'd still absolutely recommend it. It is so great. It's really good value for money as well in terms of luxury bags. Clearly it's not a cheap style, um, but yeah, the white one is definitely one of my most used bags over the past year. Would highly recommend it to anyone. Um, yeah, absolutely love it. I just wasn't getting the use out of the black one. Next up is my Chanel flap in rose gold. And I feel like this is the one that I was gonna be like, no, how could you sell it? But I really wanted to sell a Chanel bag. My actual kind of internal rule was anytime I got a new Chanel bag, I should sell another one because they are so expensive now. And I just didn't keep that at all. So I was supposed to sell one when I got my white flap. I didn't and then I got my Chanel 19 I was like I definitely have to sell one now um, and I debated what to part ways with and I ultimately decided on the rose gold one which I know is so in demand I know it's you know the bag that so many people want but you know I had it I loved using it but I really haven't reached for it very much over the past couple of years and it's a very very girly bag you know it's a very it's a very pretty style but definitely in terms of on the girly spectrum like it's really way over there and recently I've just been reaching more towards neutrals and I'm happy sort of go for you know really girly pink shades but I think mean, I generally rather do that with less expensive styles and when it comes to the really really expensive bags I have I just rather go for like a really proper neutral so that's why I decided to part ways with it um, I just didn't think that I was getting the use out of it and it was just too expensive just to sit there and also I needed to sell one and that was the most obvious choice to me. Um, and it went to a really, really good home. I got so many messages. I think it only went up on my Instagram stories for like 10 minutes and I just got bombarded with messages so I know it was a really popular one. Um, but yeah, very glad it went to a good home and so far, no regrets. Next up is the Prada re-edition and I would definitely say this wasn't a miss either. I think it's a great style and if you're considering it, I still think it's a really, really fantastic bag. Like I just love the versatility and I think the design is just so genius. And for me, I was very much comparing it to the Louis Vuitton multi pochette in the Emprunt that I have. Um, and even though they were kind of polar opposites in terms of one was white leather, one was black nylon, they still did kind of have that similar look and I just ended up using my Louis Vuitton one way more. The black um, Prada was great, but it's still very much a casual bag. Whereas I felt like my Louis Vuitton one, it could do casual just as well as the Prada version, but it could also do very, very dressy as well. Whereas I didn't think that was necessarily true of the Prada nylon version. So, you know, when it came to deciding which one to keep, I just went for my Louis Vuitton. Again, so nothing wrong with the Prada. So if you knew you wanted a more casual style, but you still wanted that multi-purpose element, I would still definitely recommend. Um, I did really, really enjoy it, but I just felt like I was getting more use out of my Louis Vuitton one. Next up is the Fendi Peekaboo. So I did sell my medium black one and this was the bag that I did that about the most because I love this style so much. I think it's so beautiful, but 
I literally haven't used it at all very much um, since I got it really and I think it's kind of one of those weird in-between styles for me and I think it'd be different if I was still you know going into an office every day but I don't and so anytime I do need a work bag I usually need to carry my laptop with me so I use a tote bag and every other time I'll use something else you know I'll use like a small shoulder bag or a clutch you know I won't go for that in-between size and so I just never got the opportunity to wear it so I hope that that changes and if it does I'm fully planning on repurchasing this bag um, but again it was just kind of in that category of way too expensive just to sit on my shelf and not be used so did part ways with it again so far no regrets but I still think it's so beautiful I might even consider one day like a mini peekaboo because I do love the whole entire line I just thought Adele and um, was carrying the kind of medium one which looks so great on her but yeah still a huge fan it just wasn't getting the use it deserved and then finally I have two bags which are slightly more into the Mrs. category for me. Uh, so the first one is the Saint Laurent book tote which I did really like um, but it wasn't as comfortable to wear as I hoped for. I got it to fulfill that kind of more travel purpose so I didn't really get it as like an M running bag. Um, so I got it for basically weekends away and stuff like that. Got it around a similar time to my Tom Ford tote which many of you will know I absolutely love and find it just so comfortable and practical. Um, I do also have my Chloe Woody tote now as well which again I find pretty comfortable to wear. Uh, the Saint Laurent one I just didn't find that comfy. The fact that it had leather handles obviously you know you're getting a high quality material there but on the flip side it just wasn't that comfortable. Um, it was you know a bit awkward to put on the shoulder it was quite a high rise and then just carrying it they were just kind of stiff and I just didn't really vibe with it. You know when you just don't really get on with a bag, that's kind of how I felt with a Saint Laurent tote. Like, I loved the look of it. I thought it was really, really cool, um, but it was just overly rigid. I didn't feel like it kind of stretched out that easily as well. Um, it didn't have, it had the base, but it naturally kind of sat a little bit flatter. And with the leather straps, I just didn't find it was overly comfy. And whenever I was like, oh, I should use my Saint Laurent tote, I always just went for my Tom Ford one because it was just so much more comfortable to wear. And essentially I am like a creature of comfort. I will go for what is comfiest every single time. And for me, it was just the Tom Ford tote. And then finally for my very last bag, and this is another one that's a little bit more into the Mrs. side of things, is the Bottega Mini Jody. And I really wanted to make this bag work for me. I love the design. I think it looks so cool. I tried to style it with a whole bunch of outfits, but every time I actually kind of try to go out with it and get some proper use out of it, I ended up switching to another bag, which I felt was just a little bit more practical for me. And you know, I was trying to figure out in my head why I didn't really love the style. I think it just comes back to the fact that I'm not much of a top handle girl. And even the more clutch style bags that I really gravitate towards, like my Saint Laurent wristlet, it does usually have that wristlet element, which again, I find so easy. I just kind of loop it on and it just kind of hangs there. I don't love bags that I exclusively have to kind of hand hold, which is obviously what the Mini Jody is. It is definitely like a handheld bag and that extends from the mini versions right through to the top handle versions. And because of that, I just didn't ever really want to wear it out. You know, I was worried about putting it on a table because the leather is quite delicate. I was worried about, you know, just carrying it around because I didn't want to get annoyed by it. And I just always seem to switch out and go for a different style as a result of it. So I would definitely say that's the kind of dividing line. Like if you love top handles, you'll probably like it. If you don't enjoy top handles as much and like me prefer shoulder bags or just bags where you're not really going to have to fuss around with them, then I'd say you may not get along as well with the mini Jody, so I think that is my kind of dividing line um, I'm glad I tried it because otherwise I'd probably still be lusting after it but yeah definitely not really a style that worked out for me so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it as usual I will include links to everything I talked about in the description section some of these bags are also currently on sale as well so where that is the case I will pop in the details and any applicable discount codes if you have any questions for me then leave me a comment and if you enjoy these recent purchases update videos please do give us a thumbs up as always thank you so much for watching I will see you in my next one bye guys mm -hmm.